Hi, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. Uh, here to bring you another layout that I completed on Saturday. Vicky Booten does a live every Friday night for her, but for Australia it's Saturday lunchtime. And this time I actually played along. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I learnt so much from Vicky. She actually used her art crayons, and I actually don't have them at the moment. But they are on my list to get. So what I used was the um, Distress Inks. And I'll show you what I came up with. I wanted to do a beach theme. So I got my octopus and my starfish. And I popped them on a block. And then I got the inks. And I went green all over. And then I got a multitude of different ones. I've got Salty Ocean and Broken China. And I went around the edges of the actual starfish. Then you actually spritz it with water and then apply it to your page. And these are the different colours. I did exactly the same with the octopus. I used, for those ones, I used the... Stormy Sky, uh, a bit of prized ribbon, and I think for those ones it was Salty Ocean. And then you make some of them really predominant, and then once you've stamped it on there, just say for instance you stamp it on, take it off, spritz it with water again, and go again. So with mine it didn't work as good as what Vicky had with the crayons because it smudged a bit more. With the crayons it didn't seem to and the crayons seemed to give a much brighter, um, clearer picture. But still the same, it worked with the inks um, and I was extremely happy with it. So then what we did was we did packaging technique, put some ink on the package, put water on it and then with a um, paintbrush, so I still haven't cleaned it all out yet, got a paintbrush, popped it all on the paintbrush and splattered it all over the page and then what was left on there, we just tipped up onto the page and did big drips I don't know if I can find all my big drips, oh in here so then we got the heat gun and started to dry it and then with a bit of paper towel lift some of the, the water so as you're drying, lift it off with your paper towel and it doesn't, it makes a real watermark. I'll do some more close-ups at the end. So then we got our photo, we mounted it, I used, majority of it is fernwood um, and I made a stamp to do one embellishment. I called it Live Life on Beach Time because it was, that's what we were doing pretty much. Just relaxing. And then we put sequins all over it. And to be perfectly honest, I loved it. And the direction we went with this was to start in one corner and come up and around. So that there was nothing over in here that we are going to put our photo. To the truth, I honestly, I loved this technique. I think it was fabulous. And I can't wait to get the crayons and try it with the crayons. Um, Vicky is a really good teacher if you wanted to tune in and watch her on YouTube or Facebook. Um, so I think I've showed you all the inks that I used. Oh, apart from the green was mowed lawn. Um, and this is what I came up with. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this quick video on what we did and how we did it, <clears throat> please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe it doesn't cost um, if you're a subscriber already thank you so very much um, and if you'd like to go and check out the Vicky Booten community on Facebook there's lots of different ones on there if you'd like to give some love to everybody and Vicky especially because she's taught us a lot um, and thank you very much for watching I'll do some close-ups for you bye